Good morning guys, it's Thursday. Welcome to today's video. Still sick on day four or five of my cold. Anyways, this morning, when I let the horses out, this is what happened. This hay pile was a big mess. I just piled it all up. Yeah, there's poop in the main walkway. Yeah. The halter was off the ground. As I came in the door, I heard any squeal and that told me that storm was out <laughs> so yeah storm got out again storm got out of his stall I don't understand it I found it like that <laughs> open the stall open so I'm not sure like last time I tied this up and he just busted through it not sure if I should try that again then I was thinking, well, I got an electric fence, so maybe I'll put an electric uh, wire here and there and tie it up to an electric fence. What are your thoughts? Or I might have to buy a whole new proper horse stall so they can't open it with the, you know, the, ro the rolling ones like we had at our other farm. Have to get that, so that's next. Right storm being bad. Always out of your stall. I always thought he was getting out of his stall because it's too warm and stuff. But I don't really think he likes it. He doesn't like being in a stall anymore. I, too spoiled being out. But when it gets really cold, when it gets really, really cold, like two days ago, I, the day before yesterday, I put him in a stall. He stayed there all night. I was watching the cameras. Last night I didn't watch in the camera at all and he busted out of his stall. The other option is put him in this stall and switch him with, with Lady. So Lady's in this stall and that is hard open. Switch it with Lady. But I know he would not like this stall because he's used to his big stall. Anyways, I'm open to suggestions. Let me know in the comments. How can I stop him from breaking out? I think I might have to go the big horse stall route. So, and I can't just put one stall. I'm gonna have to put it all the way along because that would just look bad if I only had one. But then again, if I just finish the top, off the top with, with the bars and stuff, even though I like it open so that they can stick their head out and stuff, but if I put bars there, they wouldn't be able to open it. So I could do that too. It is freezing out today. It was minus five with wind chill, minus seven two days ago Celsius. And last night was cold too. So I thought that because it was cold, they would he would not want to bust out of his stall. But he obviously doesn't like his stall. My other option, I think, I'm just thought of it now, is to put Penny in the big area with storm even though they don't get along this should be fine good morning guys welcome to today's video molly's favorite thing is to find the biggest log ever and then drag it <laughs> anyway good morning welcome to today's video it's about to be summer again sam saturday it's oh, going to be in good. the teens really yeah okay. it's going to be like 68 maybe amazing so sam did a little more work on this coop it's fine for chickens to come outside and be in an outdoor coop in the winter but we wanted them to have a spot that doesn't have a lot of wind block so that wind. yeah we just wanted to block the wind so he's been working on it it looks a little rough but it's it's better than being in the wind and then the turkeys and the guineas they have that area over there um hello back here sneakers they literally were they're like babies they're just walking nonchalant so slow through our field your dog's missing uh, ellie there she is in the middle of the field oh my gosh ellie she's pooping on the field free fertilizer <laughs> oh my gosh they never run off into the field Come on! <laughs> oh, dogs and kids, you can't take them anywhere. Come on! Come on! Come on! 
<laughs> Good girl. I like to blame it on anybody but Ellie, but I'm pretty sure it was Ellie leading that that escape mission. You guys, it is windy. Reassure me again. Reassure me that it's okay for none of them to have blankets. I feel so bad. They're standing there against the barn so it can block the wind. Oh, oh no. Poor Piggy is so cold. Oh, oh my gosh. We put, hey. This makes me nervous. Is he trying to tell me somebody's in heat? Kirby. Kirby. There's a problem. She wants to herd the animals. Come on, come on. None of the other of our dogs try and do that. <laughs> and we could teach her to do it, but I don't want her to do it. Sam put a bunch of hay. Well, he was supposed to put a bunch of hay. I'm gonna get some hay and put it in here. I get it in here. Anyway, it's freezing. It's freezing. Literally so cold and I feel really bad for that pig because this morning when I came down to let him out and it was not even that cold, well obviously he's got other things on his mind. But when I came down to let him out this morning, he said no, <laughs> refused to leave his bed. He was all covered up. He covers himself up with hay. Holy moly, the cut, so the cut on his cheek, the scab on his cheek came off and you can see the bump is almost completely gone. The hair's just standing up still because there's a bunch of the scab left. I want to try and show you how big the cut was. I'm so glad we treated him for tetanus though, just to make sure. Stay still. Oh, I can't show you. Hold on. So that, so all that hair sticking out right there, that's the scab. But the cut is actually a lot bigger than I thought it was. But he's doing good. You want some some hay? You want some straw? Honestly, animals don't mix. Like, I bring the dogs with me, and it just gets wild. They're just wild. The dogs are just wild. I just want to make sure that the pig, though, has enough straw in there. He can build a bed for him, because he was raised in a house last year. And so was Posey, but Posey seems to manage it a lot better than he does. Like, when I come down, Posey's so excited to get to her food, and she couldn't care less if she's going outside. But he literally refuses to go outside. Ugh. Honestly, thank God for barns because it's so much warmer in here and it's actually like super warm. Look, I made you a bed. He's like, thank you, Laura. I really needed that. <laughs> he loves it. At least I know he has a spot to get warm. Unfortunately, I feel like Kirby is leading Molly astray. When we got Kirby, when Sam got Kirby, my friend said, oh, you're gonna regret it. You're gonna regret it when she's chasing all your goats. And I said, Molly doesn't chase our goats. Yeah, I'm starting to regret it. All right, so it's looking like maybe somebody's in heat over there. But maybe not, I don't know. This may be the year that nobody gets bred. And I'm actually not stressed out about it. This has been a really weird year. It's like they went into heat. They had a couple of strong heats, but now it's just like every few weeks they kind of act like, I don't know, every few weeks they visit the fence line and they don't act like they're in a strong heat, but they make me question if they're in heat. Hi, baby. What do you need? Are they in heat? Tell me. So normally if they're in heat, he's like interested in them, but he's not saying that anybody's in heat. Oh yeah, he kind of is saying that she's in heat. That's the one he's interested in. See his little tongue going? I'll put him with her tonight. Oh, maybe it's the baby. Maybe that's the problem because the baby's going to heat. I don't know. I don't think they're in heat. I think you're false advertiser. So I saw them on the camera all standing at the gate at the fence. So that's what made me wonder. So much of being a farmer means just coming down and sitting in the field and spying. Spying on your animals. I don't know, I can't tell. My guess is somebody's coming into heat and my guess is don't jump on my head. He likes to do that. Don't jump on my head. Let me get that scab. Still there. 
Ugh, ew, you guys, look at that. That's what made him look like he had a, hey! <laughs> Listen, I don't like pigs. What? <laughs> Get off of me. I think he peed on me. <laughs> Don't you get ideas? Ugh. <laughs> I guess sometimes you gotta take one for the team. Anyway, this is why his cheek had that, this is why the, his cheek had that big bump on it. Okay, you can't sit in a, in a field because otherwise everybody wants to be on your lap. But yeah, this is, this is the scab. I'm gonna put some cream on that. Wow, it looks a lot better though. Like a lot better. He still has a piece of the scab there. Oh, stop. He still has a piece of the scab stuck up higher. See right up there. But that's all that bump is now is just a scab. So we, oh, got lucky. Listen, I'm not your woman. It's weird though, because it just looked like a tiny little cut at first. I'm so glad we treated him and we gave him a tetanus shot because turns out it was like this big see that's why it's so hard to make videos in the winter because you freeze to death but I do have to say we've been super lucky with the goats like super lucky goats are hard they have such strong nutritional needs and there's no one food that gives them everything that they need so you have to give them some supplements and we do that but then you're kind of leaving it up to the goat to be able to take in what they need because it's kind of like free choice supplement. I don't know where Sam went. What are you doing? Of course. Do you remember? Do you remember? I know pretty soon the water's gonna freeze. We'll have to bring in that hose. Look at this. That's the scab that was a piece of the scab that was on the goat's cheek. Isn't that gross? I'm so glad we gave him the, the medicine, the antibiotics and the, and the shot. So I was talking to a friend recently and they were saying like, the only requirement I didn't have, I had when I was looking for a spouse was not a horse girl, which I find offensive. <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> Why not a horse girl? Horse girls are like so empathetic, so sympathetic, so, like horse girl girls are some of the nice, pe nicest people ever. And all horse girls are freaking hard workers. If you knew I was a horse girl before you met me, would you have got together with me? No way. Why? Horses well, are too much work. Think I wasn't a horse girl when we met though, you was I? even a farmer when I know. City person. Same, same, me too. But I like living on a farm. I just don't like the work that you have to do. But if you weren't doing this work, you'd like get old and fat. <laughs> I'm old and fat. So. I know. That's a bad joke. <laughs> I didn't mean to be offensive, Sam. I'm just teasing. But if we weren't doing this work, we'd be older and fatter. Hard work is good for you. Farm work is good for you. Oh, it's Gracie. Penny's watching me with that evil eye of hers. You know, she is she is a brat. I'm gonna admit it. She's a brat. She knows what she likes, and she doesn't like other horses. She likes treats, and she protects me always because I'm the one with the treats. I know you don't know that I plan to not give you a blanket this year so that you can grow your own coat and be comfy. She's like, I don't care about that, Laura. Give me more, uh, more carrots. All right, so if you are against being a horse family or a horse person, why do you always bring home like special treats from the grocery store, like carrots and apples for the horses? Because we have horses. <laughs> <laughs> if you we didn't have horses, I wouldn't be buying them. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. What do you mean? I mean, like, you don't have to be so nice to them. Like, if you didn't enjoy it, you might not bring them special I treats. I don't even give them treats. I just buy them for you to give them treats. Oh, so you buy it for us. Sometimes I'll give Penny a treat to see if she'll like me. <laughs> Does it, it ever, ever work? work. It no, work. I know. Penny only likes me and a little bit of Sophie. You know, Gracie's getting all the attention right now and she deserves all the attention because she doesn't get as much. Uh-oh. Here comes trouble. Here comes trouble with those ears pinned back. 
Be nice. Just be nice. Hurry up before Lady comes, because I don't want to start any fights. Uh oh, here comes Lady. Maybe I'll save one for her. You only get one piece. Give me a kiss. Thank you. Thank you. Ew, of course not. I think my hardest thing about being a farmer and having some. Uh oh. Why? What happened? Oh. Uh oh. Kirby, you get back here. Come here. You don't even have a halter. I need a halter. Yeah. <laughs> Where's Sophie when we need her? So she broke through? I had the door open. Oh, he had the door open. Yeah, see? Like, so I posted a, a short video today and it talks about how, like, my friend told me. And it was meanie. Penny is a meanie. It doesn't help that I have treats. But anyways, my friend told me once that a horse won't just deliberately run through you. And yeah, of course, they're not going to just deliberately run through you. But if another horse is pushing them off, they're going to run right through you. And I learned that. Finn ran right through me one time because Storm was brushing him off, pushing him off. Look, oh gosh, I started a war. So he ran right through me, pushed me backwards. I fell smashed my head on the hard ground it was summertime and it was all dry smashed the back of my head and that was probably the only time I truly had like a real concussion and it was so bad like it was awful for like weeks it was awful which I guess in the grand scheme of things was not that bad of a concussion but it was bad for me she runs she's like I know they're gonna get me off of here hurry and then one for you and I don't have one for you honey I'm sorry Sorry, sorry, that's it, that's all, that's it, that's all I got, man, he's over there with her evil eye. She's like, I see what you're doing. Don't you know that you're beautiful?